In this week's video, we're going to look at some subscribers adaptations to the Cheaper Jeeper TV sleeping camping platform, so stick around. Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most free money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. Now, You've probably seen the Cheaper Jeeper TV sleeping camping platform videos. I have a link to a playlist on all the videos that deal with the design, the construction and some finishing touches of the sleeping camping platform. But it's been a very popular video on the channel and a lot of subscribers have reached out and really appreciated the design because it's very economical and the modular design makes it very flexible. And in fact, some of the viewers who have written in to me have shared with me some adaptations that they made to the Cheaper Jeeper TV sleeping camping platform, and I thought I'd share them with you. So let's get started. So what you see here is the basic Cheaper Jeeper TV sleeping camping platform as designed, and we'll look at some design adaptations that have been sent in by viewers. We'll start with ones that are just minor adaptations and will culminate with one that's a very complex adaptation that seems extremely interesting so make sure you stick around for that last one. The first sleeping camping platform adaptation that we'll look at is from Morgan Malinowski from Texas. Now in this image that Morgan has sent us you can see that he has used all of the space beneath the platform to store all of his camping gear. You can see his sleeping mat a storage tote and his sleeping bag and all his other gear and there's lots of room under the platform to fit everything and with all that storage opportunity below the platform he could put the top piece on and he has lots of room to spread out and relax and enjoy his cross-country trip out west in the states way to go morgan and thanks for sending in the pictures Our second platform adaptation that we'll look at is from John Schwab in Pennsylvania. In John's case, as you can see here, the platform is installed as per design, but he has added a 4 inch thick high density foam pad for sleeping on. And here's another shot from the rear door on the driver's side showing that comfortable sleeping pad. Thank you for the pictures, John. Our next platform adaptation comes from Ron S. from Arizona. One of the adaptations that Ron has shared with us are these DIY mounting brackets to hold the front and the cargo cross pieces steady. Nice work, Ron. And another adaptation, as you can see here, he's using the stock tie down pieces to put on top of the platform so he can secure his gear. Nice touch. Thanks for sending in the pitches, Ron. Next on our list of adapted platforms is from Dieter Stalder from Ontario. This is the back of Dieter's Jeep and it looks nice and cozy with the platform. And his platform, mind you, does have a number of adaptations. Let's have a look. As of this date, the platform will fit any JL and JK. Mind you, like in Dieter's case, the JKs between 2011 and 2018 have a center console piece that protrudes and interferes with the front cross piece from supporting the platform. So for these models, and as Dieter has demonstrated, the central part of the cross piece has to be removed to allow room for the protrusion of the center console. And as you can see here, Dieter has chosen to add some hinges to his pieces of his platform that allows him to access his equipment underneath the platform easier. Another adaptation that Dieter has made is that he has made the cargo legs 10 inches instead of 9 to accommodate the storage boxes that he already owned. And the final adaptation is that Dieter cut holes in the cargo legs so that it would provide some ventilation and also reduce some weight. Good job Dieter, thanks for sending in the pictures. And our last subscribers platform adaptation that we're going to review is from David Lloyd Coenk from Colorado. Upon first sight, there does seem to be some adaptations in this platform compared to the Cheaper Jeeper TV platform, namely that it is on the floor, it's not on cargo legs. 
and there appears to be two sliding shelves that come out from the base of the platform towards the tailgate. David shared that his platform was designed to accommodate his camping gear that he has to make sure that he could fit everything into his Jeep. So you can see here the layout of the platform looks similar to the Cheaper Jeeper TV platform in that it has the cargo area and then the central part of the platform area but in his design he also included these side extension pieces as well as, as you can see here, where you have the regular platform, he's also incorporated some sliding shelves that go out through the tailgate area. And here you have an isometric view of the design. In this image, David shows that all the pieces can be cut from one sheet of plywood and then in this image it shows that all the pieces can pile on top of each other and fit in the cargo area when the rear seats are up. Looks like David's plan worked because here you can see in real life all of the pieces fit nicely in the back of the cargo area. And the 2 inch high density foam pads are strapped to the back of the seat. You can see in the image that there are these brackets that hold the side pieces on to the main platform and we'll look at that in a couple more pictures. And it looks like, according to plan, that David did make the sliding shelves that come out of the platform base and extend past the tailgate. So here's a picture showing the base of the platform with the midsection of the platform sitting on top in the cargo area. And then here's an image of the two pieces extended out. And you could see the passenger side leg post and then the driver side leg post that are used to hold the side extension pieces that you see at the upper reaches of this image here. And here you can see how the brackets attach the side pieces to the platform. And although this image here is showing the 2 inch high density foam mattress from the driver side and the passenger side, it also shows the side piece leg supports with the barrel locks that act as pins to hold everything in place. So when looking back to the original vision, I'd say that David did a pretty good job. But David's vision extended beyond the platform but also included some other camping gear. Let's have a look at that. For example, in his design, he wanted to include a 270 degree awning to provide shade around the Jeep, as well as an external hot water shower. Well in this picture, not only can you see that he does have the platform constructed in the back of the Jeep, but you can see he has the Overland Pro 270 degree awning and the Overland Pro Privy Shower Enclosure. Nice job David. But David hasn't stopped thinking of adaptations at this point because in his drawing he allocated space for a very large air mattress but he used the 2 inch high density foam instead. So he started to think how he could use that space. David imagined that it, should he raise the platform up similar to the Cheaper Jeeper TV platform he'll have space underneath for which he will design some sliding drawers that once they are open, can expand and provide more versatility. David, thank you so much for sharing your images of your adaptations. You did an amazing job. If you'd like to have access to David's files, there will be a link in the description section of this video. But keep in mind that these are rough measurements to be used as a guide Verify your own measurements. So I don't know about you, but I found those extremely interesting and I hope that you did too. Now let's talk about some tips. Now for some cheaper, cheaper tips. 
this week's video we saw some great examples of use of space for packing but I'd like to encourage the viewers if you haven't seen the design and the construction of the chuck box video I would encourage you to watch those because it gives you an idea on how you could build boxes to fit perfectly and use up every inch of that space below the camping platform. Check it out and let me know what you think. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from the installing Reflectix window coverings for warm weather or cold weather camping video. Hey Jeeper Jeeper TV, I've used this product for years in a similar way to your method. It works great for keeping cool in the desert in Utah to a cold winter Algonquin Park night. Signed, Michael. Hey Michael, thank you very much and that's reassuring and if any of you have tips that you'd like to share, please put them in the comments section below as they may make it into a future video. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting and if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up and if you're new, how about hitting the subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss our next upcoming episode. Until next week, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.